Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to compute the nth root of a number using the calculator that comes with Windows. For example, let's compute fifth root of 80. First, you need to make sure you have scientific version of the Windows calculator. It should say scientific right here. If it doesn't, click on the menu icon. Looks like three little horizontal bars. A menu opens up. Choose scientific right here. Click on that. Now you have the scientific calculator. We want the nth root of a number. We look at all the buttons and none of them looks like it. There's a y power but not a y root. There's a square root but not the nth root. But there's a second key here. It tells us there's a second set of buttons. Click on that. Most buttons are the same, but there are some new ones here. And one of them is the y root of x. That's the one we want. Now, the fact that they named the numbers as x and y is a hint. Because x comes before y in alphabetical order, it's a hint that says to enter x before and to enter y after. For our example, it says we should enter 80 before and 5 after. We should enter 80, then the key, then 5. Let's do that. 80, y root of x, then 5, then equals 2.402248869, etc. Let's double check by raising this number to the fifth power. 2.402248869. Nine. Let's round 488 to 49. Raise to power. Here's the power key x to the y. Press that key, then 5. Equals. Yep, 80. You see that the calculator screen displays the hat or the cap or circumflex symbol. That's like the universal symbol for raising to power because it looks like you're pushing a number up high. In summary, here's the procedure. First, you enter the number inside the root, also called the radicand. Then you enter second key, then the y root of x key. If you had already pressed the second key before that, you don't have to do it again. And then the index of the radical, the little number above the root symbol and hit equal. All right? Hope that helps. Any questions, please leave a comment. Hit subscribe for more contents, and thanks for watching. Bye.